welcome back to Gypsy Fate Creations. This week I'm on vacation. Pathetic. It's really a staycation. I plan on, I don't know, doing things like changing my last name finally, and social security, or cleaning my house, or going to the NBA and getting a new license. You know, all that fun stuff you do while you're on vacation. No. <laughs> I do plan, of course, to make soap. I feel like I haven't made soap in forever. And today's soap is going to be Halloween inspired because I'm excited for fall. I know I told you guys I'm also using some sorcery soap dough recipe to make the embeds for the top of my trick or treat soap. So let's get started. down and sat at room temperature as well as my water, lye, and sodium lactate. Just going to put my rubbers on here. Always wear protection. Of course I'm having a little trouble here with these. All right. First step, really first step, is taking our kitchen vibrator and combining our lye solution into our oils. And then we're just going to give that a whirl. Set that to the side. And we're going to split our bucket of soap here <laughs> into four buckets. The soap I'm trying to go for here today is kind of um, a contrast of the bright colors and this one's going to be black so Halloween colors is what I'm going for here. I've got some Firefly in here, I've got some Mango Tango in here and that one is Lime Appeal and they are all from Nurture Soaps. And then I'm going to add some activated charcoal into this one. Let me add it to the right one here. This is going to be kind of the soap base. And I want to add, I love adding sparkles to it. So I can't just add the activated charcoal and be done with it. I have to add some black onyx flare, you know, give it a little flare. Sparkles in that one. And then we're going to give each one of these a little whirl, starting with the yellow. I think I want it to be a little darker. Just a little bit darker in that. Looks too gray. The fragrance I'm using today is from... Oh, where is it from? Nature's Gardens and Candles. I, I get nature gardens and candles and nurture soap mixed up like they both want to come out of my mouth so I'll say like nature's soap and the fragrance is called trick or treats and I'm just going to read to you what is in that particular fragrance it says it's a fragrance begins with top notes of pumpkin persimmon apple followed by middle notes of blueberry elderberries currants orange and cinnamon and well-rounded with a with base notes, notes of sugar cane and vanilla. It sound good to me. I liked the picture, I liked the name, I was inspired by the name to make the embeds that are gonna go on top of it. So, split that up. And I'm just going to take a spatula and kind of mix each one of these up. Scraping down the sides. Make sure all the color is incorporated, not stuck to the side of the bowl. I'm liking that yellow. I'm kind of thinking these colors aren't going to be as bright as I want them to be. The point is that they stand out from the black. I don't know why I thought these were Halloween colors. The black is really, really the main showcase here. And then the topping, I'm going to make kind of a purple. So I think it'll look 
spooky, in my opinion of spooky anyway. Last but not least, black. I'm hoping that everything doesn't run together when I pour it. I don't want like the black to mix in with the green and have some fugly color. But that's the, the beauty of making soap. You just don't know what you're going to get. Everything here looks good. Smells really good. So let's get the pouring. In this. Alright, I am going to start with the black. I'm just kind of dropping the colors into it and whatever pattern comes out here. I don't think I made enough yellow. I'm going to scrape it all down, get it all out, and you go continue with our colors. I don't want to leave it, but I really can't decide how to leave it. Alright, we're going to bang that down. Um, hmm. Yep, look at that. <laughs> Every little bit counts. I think I'm going to do the wire hanger. I don't want to, I just, I just want a little bit. Just, just, just a little bit of swirl in there. Kind of bring all the colors up and around. Not too much, because like I said, I don't want that black ruining everything. I want all the colors to blend together. Alright. It is what it is. Spray it with your isopropyl alcohol. Cross your fingers, and it might just look extra spooky. All right, I'm gonna get my topping together and I'll be back. Ready to go with the topping here. I am using a Wilton 8B piping tip. And I'm just making three across. And I've used some purple vibrance mica to color this. And I'm loving how this tip looks. This is gorgeous. Ooh, if you pull up, that looks good too. First time using this on the top of a soap besides cupcakes, so I'm a little excited here. Alright, add another layer. Perfect. Alright, so the embeds that are going on top of the soap our little pumpkins that I made. And I don't know, lollipops or taffy or shoelaces. I was kind of just going for a candy look and some candy corn. Again, because the soap is called Trick or Treat, I was kind of going with a trick or treat look here. So let me start by putting on my pumpkins. bar here, down the middle. I'm hoping I can do a better job of lining these up than I have in the past. Can't tell if I'm lining these up right guys, can you see that? <laughs> the glitter I'm using is a violet glitter from Nurture Soap as well. I'm just going to sprinkle a little purple glitter on top of that. And I am quite happy with it. And then I'll spray it with the ice purple alcohol. And let it sit 
I'll be back tomorrow. I'll let it sit for 24 hours before unmolding it and I'll show you guys the cut. There's just an up close of everything. Ready to cut this pretty little thing here. I am so excited about this little spooky soap. Bradley said it looked like something out of A Nightmare Before Christmas or some like Tim Burton movie. So that made me happy. Look at that. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's beautiful. Some of my pumpkins lost their stems though, a little upset about that, but you know, it happens. So pretty. Those colors are really vibrant too, that's exactly what I was going for. This smells really good. My new favorite tip for the icing is this Welton 1B. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> I just think the topping on it turned out so well. Like it is, it's perfect. A little pumpkin there. I'm glad I did that hanger swirl. It looks really good in here. So this this soap is a lot of fun to make. I had a lot of fun making the in beds for this and designing the colors in it, picking out the scent. I'm really happy with this fragrance, this trick or treats. I think I'm actually going to name the soap after the fragrance and call it trick or treats, unless something else more creative <laughs> pops up into my head. But I did design this soap kind of around that fragrance, so it just might stick. And there it is. That's a lot going on in that one. That one's really cool. Trick or treats. I'm digging it. Loving the colors, loving loving the icing topping, loving the in beds on it. Like it turned out exactly how I imagined it. enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in any of these fabulously fall soaps, they are available in the Etsy shop. I will leave the link down below. They are available for purchase. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for more fun soap making soap making fun, fun soap making videos. Any <laughs> questions or comments, leave them down below. And thanks for watching guys. Until next time, smell you later. That's pretty good. <laughs>